what's going on youtube come in come in get comfortable welcome it's your girl vanity and today we're gonna have some real real super real conversation okay i hate to say this but my ladies i love y'all you know especially black women i love all of y'all but y'all may not like some of what i'm about to say especially if the shoe fits. But today, this video is specifically for the fellas. So I don't want to any, see anybody in the comments, oh, well, you know, this applies to women too. Today, ladies, sit this one out. This is not about you, okay? This is for the fellas. This is some advice for the, for the fellas. And hopefully you take heed to this and take it in and listen to what I'm about to say. It's very, very important, okay? So what sparked me wanting to talk about this video is the recent trial for Travis Rudolph in case you guys have been you know not really paying attention to the blogs or the news lately Travis Rudolph is an ex NFL player who um I don't I think it was last year or the year before he was on trial because well for uh three counts of attempted murder and one count of first degree murder you want to know why because all of it is sparks from his I don't, he says it was never his girlfriend, the young lady, Dominique, or you know how guys will be like, oh, we not really together. We just talking. So Travis said this was a young lady he was just talking to, Dominique, who um, went through his phone as women do. And people stop going through people's phone. This goes for women because men do it as well. Please stop going through people's phone. I have learned the hard way when you go looking for stuff, you're going to find it. So just stop going through people's phones. Just leave it alone. You know, if you're going to leave someone, if you have any type of reasoning of thinking that they're doing something they're not supposed to do, just leave, you know, because just live in bliss. If, you know, if, if it's something that is going on behind your back or someone's being unfaithful to you, the Lord is going to make sure you find out if it's necessary, okay? So let's all just make a pact right here, right now to stop going through people's phones. But anyway, Dominique went through Travis's phone and she found, you know, pictures or whatever. She found things that would let lead her to believe that he was dealing with other women, right? And again, this is a, a, a very, very common case, a common scenario that happens. Women, we go through men's phones, we find out this, and then we have one or two choices. Do you leave or do you stay? And that's what, another reason why I want people to stop going through people's phones is because normally when we find shit, we don't leave any damn way, okay? So just stop going through people's phones. Dominique went through Travis's phone found what she was looking for, was upset, and then after that, went to her brother and, you know, was like, look, I need you to go handle this. I want you to go shoot, sh go shoot this house up, is what she, I, the text message that they found that she sent her brother to, to, to shoot up Travis's house, all because she found something. And then, so... To make a long story short, because this is this video is not specifically about the trial, okay? So I'm not going to go into in-depth details on that. If you want to know more about the trial, go to CourtTV.com, go to CNN, all of the things. Just Google Travis Rudolph, it will come up. But what ended up happening is her brother and three other um, gentlemen went over to Travis's house, started a fight. They got rowdy. All of these things happened. And as a result of that, and as a result of Travis protecting himself, the end result was he ended up shooting up the car that the young lady's um, brother and the other guys were in. Subsequently, one of the gentlemen died and then others got injured. So Travis ended up being on trial for, again, one charge of um, first degree murder because someone unfortunately did die behind this and then three counts of attempted murder. All of this is because not only did Dominique tell them to go shoot up his house because she found some BS in his phone about another woman, but she also lied and said that Travis body slammed her and thank God for ring camera and all this. That's the thing that I love about this new day and age is when stuff hits the fan and there are untruths involved. We have cameras everywhere, people that are taking cameras. We have ring cameras, etc. The ring camera caught all of the footage showing that the gentleman, that they, they attacked him first, showing that he did not body slam because Dominique told her brothers, her brother that Travis body slammed her. That wasn't true. And the ring camera showed that she slipped and fell. He never touched her. So 
why am I here, okay? I, to, to wrap this up in a nice bow, why am I here? What I want to say to men, okay? Men, you got to be careful and have better discernment with the women that you date. Because you date the wrong woman, you'll end up dead, you'll end up in jail, you'll end up robbed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. And all of these things are so far more common than you think. We have, unfortunately, and it's, I mean, I'm a black woman, so I, of course, I'm going to speak from the black experience, but this doesn't just happen in the black community. This is all over. I watch the news. I'm an avid news watcher. I watch all the court shows, all of the ID TV, the snaps and all of these things, forensic files, all of this stuff. Women are not always out for your best interests. There are a lot of really shady women out there who want to date you for your money, who want to date you for clout and for status, who want to date you to, for whatever their reasoning is, that is not a reason for love or, you know, all the great things that come from dating someone you care about and from a, a good relationship. A lot of women are dating you for all the wrong reasons. And it's so more, so much more common than we think, men. Men, you gotta, you gotta stop, you know, that a big booty and a smile. It can't be about that. You have to really take your time and get to know people and stop telling people so much of your business. Stop being so quick to bring women to your house. Because I'm telling you right now, women, especially ball players, athletes, and things like that, women are coming to your house to scope out the things that you have and they are setting you up to get robbed. It happens all the time. And women, we got to stop getting, in addition to that, I'm speaking directly to the women right now. Number one, women, stop putting your hands on men, okay? I just, that's a, that's a side note. Don't put your hands on a man, okay? Men, nobody should be putting their hands on anybody. I'm, I'm not an advocate for that. I don't condone it. Everybody keep your hands to yourselves. But specifically women... You put your hands on the wrong man and he's going to put his hands back on you. And we all know men are stronger than us. Why even put yourself in that position? You know, to be hurt, to have legal trouble. Women, you cannot get upset because you went through his phone and start swinging on him or anything. For whatever reason, don't touch a man because not every man is going to be as diplomatic as, as you know. And I'm not, if I was a man and a woman hit me, I don't know how I would handle that. You know, I mean, and that's why I say everybody keep their hands to themselves because not every man is going to handle you with kick gloves and, and not touch you. Of course, we will hope because we know men are stronger that if you touch a man that he wouldn't, you know, haul off and hit you back. But like you hit him first and we see in the ring camera, she hit him. She hauled off and hit him. He didn't hit, he didn't put his hands on her. She hit him. Women, stop touching men. Stop it. You're touching men and then, you know, and then, so, so that's another thing. Women, leave your, keep your hands to yourself. And also when something happens between you and a lover or someone that you're dating and it doesn't go your way, stop getting your family involved. Your brothers, your uncles, your father, they all love you that they know that their job is to protect you. So if you, if you um, are telling your brother, oh yeah, he, he body slammed me. Of course they're going to come and confront him. Of course they're going to do, that's what brothers are supposed to do. But when you do stuff like that, you put them in danger for this kind of stuff to happen. You think that when the four of them went over to Travis's house, they thought one of them would end up dead? No. Women, stop involving men, men women, anybody in your mess. Okay? Your romantic mess. If someone is mistreating you and if someone is cheating on you or whatever the situation is, leave. You don't have to stay. Just leave. It doesn't have to turn into anything that's physical. You don't have to get anybody involved. In my relationship, I don't want anybody involved in it. Be careful what you tell people and stop getting your family members and loved ones involved because when people love and care about you, they're going to try to defend you and protect you especially when you're not telling the truth. That man didn't put his hands on you or body slam you. You sent them those men over to his house and you, it's your fault. All of this is your fault, Dominique. So women, stop putting your hands on men. 
And stop getting your family and loved ones involved in situations like this. If you don't want to be there or if they're being mistreated, just leave. That's it. You don't have to do anything. It doesn't have to be any beef. It doesn't have to be an altercation. Just leave. And don't. And if they reach out to you again, don't respond. Everybody has free will to handle things the way that they want to. And the hopes is that people handle things in the proper way. And the proper way in a situation like that is to just leave. If you found out he was dating someone else and you wanted to be the only one and that's not going to be the scenario get out of the situation you didn't have to get anybody involved in that because you were mad so going back to the original reasoning for this video men you got to be careful you got to be careful with the women that you have children with you have to be careful about the women that you date you have to be careful about the women who you expose your lifestyle to you cannot be someone who is rich and in the NFL and have random women that you don't call your girl at your house. Come on, man. We got to be careful. You should be using protection when you're sleeping with women. I just feel like, man, you guys got to do better. I want better for, for men. It's just like I want for my sisters and from the, for women. I'm all about women empowerment, but I also want men to make the conscious responsible decisions as well man you got to do better you got you've got to make sure that you don't even put yourself in situations for things like this to happen you know things unfortunate happen to people all the time bad things happen to good people we know that but we also know that there are ways to de decrease the probability of you ever being in a situation like this travis should have never allowed dominique to even know where he lived at Especially if you didn't see it for her like that. Why does she know where you live? And your mom lives with you? His mom was at the house and lived at the house. Why are you... Why does she have access to your phone? How is she even able to get into your phone? Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? I just... I want better for men. I want y'all to be safe. Because their women, unfortunately, can be very manipulative. Very convincing very vindictive and they can put men in situations very often that can be very detrimental and life-threatening to men if men allow it so men you guys got to do better you got to be careful with the company that you keep you got to be careful with the women that you allow into your space if you don't love a woman if you don't see an actual future with her don't have her at your house especially if you have a lot to lose okay I don't want anybody to be a drug dealer. I'm not condoning that. I'm not. But quite often, they get set up as well by women who are, you know, are dealing with another guy, a rival, whatever, and it puts them in a compromising position to be robbed, to be murdered, all of these things. Like, men, you just have to do better, okay? You have to be careful. And again, this is not a knock on women. I'm a woman, I love women, and I, I want you know us to live, all of us to live righteously and to be safe. But I, I cannot ignore the fact that there are some women in the world that are up to no good and who are trying to get what they can get out of men in the absolute wrong ways. Everyone should be trying to add value to each other's life, not take from them, not, you know what I'm saying? Like not take and be negative and put them in danger. That young lady, Dominique, put every man that came over to Travis's house in danger and look at what happened it was a disaster not only did she lose loved one a loved one other ones got injured but now you know Travis had to go through this legal I'm sure he spent a, a boatload of money on attorney's fees you know all of these things that were so preventable and never should have ever gone in that direction so in closing my man, I love you guys. Be careful and think twice when you're dating someone on how much of your life you give them because it could save your life, okay? All right, everybody have a wonderful, beautiful Friday and a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.